Hey everybody, it's Sahaba. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I have some uh, very exciting news. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be exciting for you as it is for me, but it was very exciting for me today. Uh, today we're just going to have a really short, quick, short and sweet video. I received some happy mail from André from Merry Go Round Paper today in my P.O. box and it was not happy mail that I was expecting such as an order that I placed for myself. <laughs> I actually went to my P.O. box uh, to see if my order from Picky Pulp on YouTube had come in and that had not come in yet although it was due to come in this week but instead I found a lovely piece of happy mail from André from merry-go-round paper. So if you guys will remember that we did a uh, napkin paper haul a little while back, this is from the same lady. So uh, welcome to everyone who is here. Welcome to those of you who are new. I'm so glad that you've come by to click on this video today. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this happy mail and see what was sent. Now, André, if you are watching this, I apologize for the state of the envelope. The reason it looks like this, um, and you'll know because I messaged you on Etsy, is because I, I literally, literally ripped this open in the car. <laughs> in the car. <laughs> so uh, I ripped it open in the car because it was so pretty and I was so excited and I didn't know uh, who it was from, although I had kind of a a little bit of an idea, but I wasn't really, really sure. So I couldn't wait, essentially, and I ripped it open in the car. And uh, yeah, so, but what I do is, because you used such pretty stamps last time, is I cut all this out and I kept the stamps. So I am going to keep some of this lovely washi tape, and I apologize for the state of the envelope. And for those of you who are looking at the video, it did not come this way. I, I ripped it open because I was way too excited. So um, if you ever want to send me something and I open it up online and it looks like this. This is just like evidence of my excitement. Okay, right? Okay, let's get into it. So, um, came uh, nicely packaged uh, on a... Um, what's it called? Like a file folder backing. And I'm sorry for the way, André, if you're watching that it's kind of like wonky, but it's because the people at the UPS office, they kind of like had it in my, my PO box, guys. It's like a really one of those really small PO boxes and they folded everything. So, um, yeah, <laughs> if you guys uh, are ever sending me something such as André did and you don't want it to be bent, please just write do not bend <laughs> on it. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. It came, um, with this lovely little note and I knew instantly what was inside. Can you guys guess? I'll give you a second to guess what was inside. I know instantly what it is. Obviously it's napkins, but which napkin? I knew right away. I knew right away. And as soon as I guessed it, I screamed and Eric was driving and uh, <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pull this out and I just love the way that André uses scrapbooking paper. Do you guys remember that as um, ways to wrap around the, um, the products that she's sending out? I think it's such a uh, creative use of such pretty papers. So do you guys remember these? These are the uh, the Anne of Green Gables napkins. Now, there's other goodies here, so I want to look at things in the order that they came, okay? So, um, André has done some decoupage here on a piece of text with napkins, and she's made a little journaling card, which I absolutely love, and that's going to probably go into my junk journal exactly the way it is. And she's also included little cutouts of some vintage lace. Now, I don't know if you guys have been to Merry-Go-Round Paper's website yet. If you haven't, you should absolutely go check it out. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. She's got these lovely vintage lace bundles that she has for sale, as well as the napkins and things. So if that's something you're interested in, I highly suggest you go check it out. You will not be disappointed. I was not disappointed. Um, and it came with a little note. And it's it's a cute note. I could read it for you. It's not a problem. There's nothing personal here. It just says, hi, Zahava. Just a little something to think. Thank you for featuring my Etsy shop. I hope you will enjoy my faux washi tape handmade from napkins. Um, 
Thank you so much. I'm so excited to look at that. So what did I get? I got two more of these Anne of Green Gables napkins. And we did have this discussion last time. Remember, audience? We had um, the discussion that this was the original Megan Follows Anne. We all know this if we are true Canucks. And the Anne with the E is just not something I am prepared to discuss on this channel. And you can discuss it in the comments if you like and maybe explain to our um international viewers and maybe younger generation viewers why it is a very taboo subject <laughs> for me. Okay, so there's that. But I do want to take a look at this washi tape now. I love the idea. Oh, you see, I even recognize these napkins. Okay, this is so, so intelligent. I think this is so, so clever. I'm going to bring you in a little bit more so you can see. Now, do you guys remember when we did the napkin haul and um, we saw these prints, these um, napkins here? It looks like they were stuck down on some sort of double-sided, I don't know if it's double-sided tape or if it's double, some sort of thing, but there's release paper on the back. So it's probably a very wide strip of double-sided tape. André, uh, you could correct me if you managed to create your YouTube channel yet. Maybe you could correct me in the comments. If not, you could let me know by Etsy or by email if I'm right. But I feel like maybe what you did here to create this washi tape is you took some double-sided tape, but like really wide and then stuck your napkin down on it. I don't know. I don't know how you got it so smooth. Like everything is so smooth. It's so pretty. I love this so much. And you see, the thing is, the thing is, honestly, I'm, I came to a decision. The thing is, I'm actually not going to be using these items in journals that I send out. I've decided that um, I'm going to actually be keeping uh, a happy mail journal. Now, so here's the thing. The happy mail journal, I haven't created it yet. But what I was thinking to do is I did a napkin haul from André, as you guys know, that I will be adding into the ephemera packs that I send out or that you guys purchase. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about those, you can check in my video history if you're new here, or you can check on the Made by Maurice website, uh, website, 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 <laughs> and uh, an Etsy shop. So um, those are just little junk journaling supplies packs that I sell um, that you could you know, buy if you're interested. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. I, I did buy napkins originally to be able to use in the junk journals that I make and in the ephemera packs that I sell. But these ones here, because they were sent to me special in Happy Mail, these are the kinds of things that I want to document. So what I was thinking is that I would have to absolutely start a journal, maybe even using this envelope as one of the pages so that I can document all uh, of the Happy Meal that I receive or pretty envelopes that I receive or things like that that I would like to keep to document my time here on YouTube. And uh, these are the kinds of things that I would want to keep to go in it so that I could have memories of what I was doing during this period of my life and, you know, who my viewers were and things like that because it's, it's very, very meaningful to me. Um, and I... I, I literally, like, I know I can say it, but, like, Eric was there, and I was literally crying in the car because it was such an unexpected, beautiful gift, and I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm such a baby channel, but it makes me feel like I've arrived. <laughs> like, I'm walking down this YouTube red carpet, like, people are sending me these, like, lovely things when all I'm trying to do is literally do a solid by another female entrepreneur um, because if you've been here a minute you know that aside from small business being a huge passion of mine um, I do like to support fellow women entrepreneurs if you guys remember the feature that I did with Amber of the thrifty journal shop um, you know I I have I actually still have her stuff right here right below me um, on the table so we can just pull that out real quick so you guys can see. Do you guys remember this, what we did with all Amber's stuff? Well, I haven't gotten to it yet. Amber, I apologize <laughs> I, if you're watching. I haven't gotten to it yet. But what I was thinking was I could start with um, that package and then add this one here in. And then I would kind of have a running journal going either for things that I buy from small women entrepreneurs so I can keep track of that or also... Um, if 
you know, I'm sent to anything else, I obviously want to keep that. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to be doing a junk journal and I'll be doing videos, um, you know, as, as it, as it happens, as I'm adding to the journals, as things come in the mail, that type of thing, then we could journal in what I would like to call my happy mail journals. So anyway, that's what I kind of have in mind to document, uh, this amazing period in my life. And, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to sign off the video here. I don't want to talk too, too much. I like the fact that I can do some shorter videos from, from, you know, every once in a while while I'm having like a slower period, uh, going on, uh, you know, a slower season, I should say in my life. So again, I want to thank everybody who has come by to spend a little bit of their day with me today. You know that if you've stayed until the end of the video, you're absolutely my favorite. Big shout out to Andre from Merry Go Round Paper, whose link I will have in the description below. If you guys want to check out, uh, her journaling supplies and that kind of thing. And again, if you guys are interested in my links and you want to support me or the channel, my links will also be in the description box below. And if you could give this video a like and give me a little comment or something of that nature on the way out, it really helps other people to discover me here on YouTube. And I appreciate all of you so, so very much. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, this is Zahava. Ciao for now.